Hello, Christian Life Calling Fellowship. Seek here. Overdue to check in with you. Uh, you know, tomorrow I'm going to preach on Pentecost and, um, and the fulfillment of the filling and baptism of the Holy Spirit. Well, you know, and, and I was thinking about, of course, it was 50 days after Jesus raised and then all the mysterious connections of 50 that there, there are. There was 50 days after the deliverance from uh, Egypt and the deliverance through the Red Sea until the fire came down and God's presence was manifest in the Old Testament. And wow! You know, of course, 50 days after Jesus was raised, Pentecost came, the fire came down again, but the fire in the Old Testament slew 3,000 people, and the fire in the New Test Testament saved 3,000 people. But there's, there's a connection there. And so the timing that may have seemed uh, ironic or uh, even uh, happenstance was so clearly coordinated so clearly connected what happened in the Old Testament to what happened in the New. And, and then, of course, there was 50 days from, uh, from the, the Feast of uh, Barley to, to the first fruits of the wheat. And, you know, and that was deliberate, you know. And, and, of course, you know, when Jesus told the disciples, you know, wait for the promise of the Holy Spirit, they had to wait to receive. So that was kind of interesting. He wanted them to have it, but they had to wait to get it because there was a timing involved. Well, why? I don't know exactly. But God's timing is mysterious. It's deep and it's perfect. I, I remember at a time earlier uh, in, in, my, in fact, in my childhood, God's had His hand on me my whole life that, that God did some mysterious and profound and powerfully supernatural things in my life, the like of which he's never done again, but he continues to show up miraculously in my life. But, you know, some of those things were meant for that time and that place. And there's a lot of things like that, you know, where Jesus told the disciples to go and don't leave that place until you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Only God understood the timing. And God didn't show it to them. Just that you go, you wait, and I'll show up right on time. <laughs> and that's what God does. But it may seem to us that He's late, or it may seem to us that there is no timing, or that the timing is unclear or happenstance. Oh, but the hand of God is so sure. The ways of God are so deep and so profound and so, you know, things in our life that at one moment they may seem like they're just out of control, but yet the, the threads of God's loving, supernatural, benevolent touch are behind the scenes, moving on our behalf. Ah, but you've been through that a few times. You don't see God there, but you know from experience that God is there. And in the right time and in the right place, His Spirit will move on you. <laughs> and God does move in the lives of His children. I'm preaching tomorrow because God wants us to have a deeper walk with Him. He wants us to be filled and fulfilled through the deeper walk with His Holy Spirit. But we have to seek it. It's like most things in the Spirit, you know. God doesn't just uh, come in and knock the door down and here it is. No, 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 no. You know, we, we have to obey Him and be there. We have to look and we have to wait and we have to watch. And, you know, when we meet those conditions and God knows our hearts ready, oh, wow, the Lord shows up so purely, so perfectly, so poignantly and, and so precisely that there's no doubting that it's God. And that's what I'm praying for you, that you see that miraculous touch of the Lord in your life. If He's wanting you to wait, don't get impatient. Just hang on. Do what God says. 
If he's wanting you to look, then look. Carefully seek and you'll find. You know, uh, God has powerfully profound and mysterious ways. Trust Him. But look with all your heart. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hope for a deeper walk with the Lord. Let your chief desire be more of Jesus. Let the thing that you're after more than anything else be more with the Lord. You see, God wants to walk in a supernatural way with His church in these end days. God wants to move in a supernatural way through the Spirit, through you. He wants to use you as His vessel, as His conduit, as His point of contact. God wants to move through you, but we have to be so sensitive to the Spirit that He knows that we'll listen even if He's whispering. That we'll not only listen if He's shouting at us, but we'll hear Him at the faintest expression of His will to us. Oh, and that takes a lot of doing. We have to be broken some. <laughs> a lot of yielding, a lot of giving of ourselves so that He Himself can be perfected in us. Christ in us. That's the hope of glory. I pray for more of Jesus in you and in me through the Holy Spirit. Just wanted you to know that. Love you much. God bless you. Thinking for you. Praying for you. Seek out.